worked in the county jail as a correctional officer. I went off my medicine. Mm -hmm. I went off my psych meds. I was wandering the streets, eating rocks, sleeping under bridges. I've been here as a mission. August will be nine years. My name is April Bullis, and my position at 315 is the store manager. My name is Liz Poda. I'm the director of marketing for the Rescue Mission. 315 is a thrift store. Our parent company is the Rescue Mission, and we're located inside a Marshall Square Mall here on SU Hill. The Rescue Mission operates uh, 14 thrifty shopper stores. We just celebrated our 125th anniversary in 2012. And last year, we conceptualized 315. 315 was an idea created by the Syracuse University Sites students. And actually 315 came about with our relationship with Enactus through the um, Whitman School of Business at Syracuse University. It's uh, Students in Free Enterprise and uh, Professor Amanda Nicholson. They had an idea to possibly open a thrift store up here when Follett's Bookstore went out of business and the space became available. And this group who had been volunteering and helping the rescue mission and our thrifty shopper social enterprise operation found that the space was available in Marshall Square Mall and recommended that we look into it. They contacted the CEO of the rescue mission and the rest is history. 315 is totally unique. It's a, it's a one of a kind. We did a lot of research and thought through the process to create this kind of unique shopping experience. They sent me to New York City along with our warehouse manager, Kristen Mixon, to uh, research thrift stores down there to see what was working, what did we like, how could we come up with the same style here in Syracuse, you know, New York City style, but Syracuse edition. And a friend of the Rescue Mission, uh, the owner of Cafe Cabal, uh, was asked to partner with us. We have a Cafe Cabal located inside. We offer free delivery. The partnership is great. The pairing is great. We find that people like this sort of um, environment to shop in. Unlike the thrifty shoppers, it's a fun, relaxed atmosphere with a vintage boutique feel where the uh, Syracuse University students the hospital faculty and staff can come and meet and shop. It's fun, it's different. The merchandise changes, whether it's something for a dorm room or a new outfit for the weekend or something for when parents are in town. We're very well received in the area and we're liking what the results are. All of the thrift stores that the Rescue Mission operates, uh, the proceeds go back to supporting our programs uh, to help people leave homelessness and not be hungry again. In Syracuse, the Rescue Mission operates an emergency shelter, which is 132 beds for men, and that's available 365 days a year. The majority of the time our shelter is full every night, whether it's summer or winter. About 10% of the population that we see are veterans, and we make sure that these veterans are connected with the services that they deserve following service to their country. We have a day center where people can come in out of the elements, job services, employment, a van that goes out every night into the community to find people who are homeless and bring them water and a meal and see if they would like to come into the rescue mission. We also operate another um, kind of transitional apartment type uh, setting for 28 men called Gifford Place. These men have come from our shelter and are now able to live a little more independently. We also have a meal program in our food services center and we serve three meals a day, 365 days a year to men, women, and children. There's no requirement other than you're hungry and you need a meal. I have, I have a mental illness, I have diabetes, and I have a small cholesterol problem, and I have COPD. I'm, all, I'm also on a CPAP machine, but I am told by all my doctors that I'm in very well, 
I'm, I'm doing all right. I'm doing very well. I love baseball. I'm actually I'm a White Sox and Pirate fan, but I'm not a television watcher. I want to go to the stadiums and see the games. What does the rush commission do? They give you a place to stay. They feed you. They clothe you. They let you get back in contact with your family. They make sure you take your medicines. They try to initiate you to doing, do things yourself. We went to Yankee Stadium just last Thursday. We go to Walmart, we go to Wegmans, we go to like Green Hills, we go like miniature golfing. Sometimes they get tickets to go to Crunch Games. They get tickets to go to the Chiefs Games. We go fishing. They actually took them to camp, I believe it was Camp Eden, down by Cortland somewhere. They take us on, they try to take us on trips. So they, you know, somebody actually brought me here when I was on the streets. They actually said, you need some place to, you need some place to stay. They actually brought me here. My family kind of told me when I went off my medicine and I wandered the street, they called them. They, somebody called my family. And they, they told me, don't bother, come back and get the help you need. But after I was on my medicine, I recontacted my family. And now I have a good relationship with them. I go back, I travel with them, I visit them. I went to St. Lucia in March of this year. Did you enjoy yourself? Yes, I did very much. Um, I first got involved with the rescue mission because when I was finishing my degree in business, I knew I wanted to work in sustainability or recycling. I've always had a passion for the nonprofit um, arena and I've worked in nonprofits before. My expertise is marketing and communications. And uh, I found that thrift stores are the most sustainable way to shop. I started volunteering at the Rescue Mission and I saw what the Rescue Mission was all about, helping people who are in dire straits, who are hungry, who are homeless, who are impoverished. When this position became available, they approached me with the idea and uh, here I am. <laughs> When the opportunity came for me to join the organization, I jumped at it. Been there about 18 months and I'm, I'm loving it. Working for the Rescue Mission has affected my life in a lot of different ways. It's rewarding to be able to do a job that helps the community, to help employ people who gain job experience and have since been promoted within the company. It's, uh, it's rewarding. At the end of the day, what we're doing is affecting the community in a positive way. I've seen many things and it has changed my life. It's made me much more appreciative of what I have, but I also feel like I am able to help in the capacity that I'm working at at the Rescue Mission. Sure a lot of guys need support here because so, they don't have they don't have the capital to do anything themselves. So 